Good morning, it's March 6th already. Goodness gracious. Let's get our channel disclaimers out of the way because this will be more interesting than maybe you anticipate. This podcast is rated for a mature audience only. If you are under 18 years old, this content is not for you. Thank you for visiting us. There's plenty of other content on YouTube for you to watch. Have a great day. All content not created by the blue-haired bingo babe, that's me, belongs to its original creator. It is used to substantiate, augment, or exemplify this author's content. It is used under Title 17, Section 107 of U.S. Code, governing fair use for news, education, and critique. I do like silly stuff. I don't like the nasty, mean stuff, okay? That's number one. I'm going to clarify a couple of things here. Most of you already know who that voice belongs to, the Bostonian who transplanted down to North Carolina and has been in true crime for, I don't know, five, six years now. I've kind of lost count. Tracy, formerly known as Chasing Truth, is the creator who brought us the information on Rose Meyer, a lifelong friend of Candy Hearer. You'll hear her reference a slideshow and the text that was written in that slideshow about an interview that she did in interrogatory fashion with Rose Meyer. I will leave you links both to this porch chat and to the slideshow she did. In this clip, she's clarifying a few things about the aftermath of that slideshow. One, I didn't ask anybody to do an interview. It was suggested. I said, sure, if, if you'd like to do that, we can do that. Uh, did she just contact me out of the blue? No, I had gone to that group. I've been in the family support group. I decided once everything went crazy in there, I was like, I don't think I want to stay in this group because who the hell knows what's going to happen now, right? I reached out to her and said, you know, we're not all here to bash everybody. YouTubers get a really bad name. Um, people in these cases get a really bad name. You know, my prayers are with everybody, period. Very simple. She, her name is tied up in this. That is none of my business. It's not my business. I'm not here to give Rose Meyer a, an alibi, an out. But I refuse, I refuse to have my words twisted. Those words were typed out. Anybody can read them. They're there. They're clear. People were wondering, why was she there the night or day Summer was abducted? What? What? So I felt like, okay, I'm doing a really bad job here. <laughs> because if people think that Rose Meyer was on the property the day Summer went missing, either I really suck at explaining things where people are listening to spin a narrative. I don't know which one it is, right? So I went and I looked at the slideshow thing and I listened to my own words. She got there six days later. What does that sound like? Does that sound like she was there when Summer went missing? No, it doesn't. It's not what it sounds like, right? So, David Dotson. Well, how did she meet David Dotson if David Dotson was there the night that Summer went missing? Because she was there six days later. When do you think David took the kids golfing? The night Summer went missing? Well, later. Now, these were comments that I got, Kat, not other channels. I'm going to politely head some of you off at the pass and ask you, please stick to the subject. The subject is Rose Meyer and where she fits in character roles and character archetypes. With the exception of a hit piece that was done just recently and the occasional mention of Rose Meyer's role, primarily as a friend of Candy Hearer, who came down for a few days to help the family keep going and keep organized. 
Rose Meyer is hardly ever mentioned. And the primary reason for that is she's a tertiary character. She came down at a critical moment, performed some services, and left. One of those services, even before she left her home to come to Tennessee, was to recruit Kathy the friend to take Candace to go take care of some things that she was asked to do. And Kathy the friend did that. Rose Meyer started a GoFundMe, um, something that many people do out of enthusiasm and a desire to help somebody else who's in difficult situations. It happens every day, all day long. Some of those campaigns are successful and some are not. In the case of Rose Meyer, she took down the GoFundMe and stopped the campaign because people attacked her effort. Perhaps the reason Rose Meyer responded so quickly to come down to Tennessee to help the family and specifically her lifelong friend Candy Hare is because Rose Meyer has been involved in the support effort to find Rose Bly, Candy Hare's missing daughter. Is that not what we hope our friends will do when we're in crisis? Suspend judgment and just come and help us. That's what my lifelong friend from high school would do. She would be cooking, baking, organizing everything that needed to be organized. She would burn up her telephone lines to be helpful. That's all I got for you today. I'm aware that the downbeat on that... Music in the opener is earth shattering and I will fix it as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll be putting up Rose's poll probably on Sunday. God bless you. See you soon.